So there are many different theories about uh, change. I met some guys that think that uh, you can go without lubing and uh, some people that lube every day. So what I'm going to say, take with a grain of salt and make up your own opinion, but I have my own little theory to it. I think that you should lube it. You don't need to be totally anal about it, but the whole point is the O-rings. Every little joint here in between is a little O-ring, and those are the ones that we really want to uh, get some moisture to. One thing is to lube it, another thing is to keep the chain tight. It say here, chain tension without load, 35 to 45 millimeter. So let's do that. We hold it here, so I hold that on the lower part there yeah. and take it up. So if that had come above the knife. Right, that would be 45. Yeah, so this is, so that's good. And I think the biggest problem we see on our tours is people keeping it too tight. Mm -hmm. Because normally you don't have too much luggage on your bike and we are, gonna, we are bottoming out or getting very close at least to the bottom a lot. And if it's tight there, it's just gonna stretch it. And then you tighten it up and it's gonna stretch it and stretch it. And the more you stretch it, the more it's gonna eat up the teeth on the sprocket. These are sprockets, a sprocket here, a rear sprocket and front sprocket. Mm -hmm. And what happens when they eat up, eventually, when it's really bad, then the whole chain slips and it doesn't spin the wheel anymore. It has no grooves to go into and then that's it. You're finished, done for. So what they say too, you should always change the sprockets and the chain at the same time. So when you do service. And it's a really cheap uh, insurance, I would say, for going on a big tour. And you know, another thing that I didn't mention, you, you have a slider here. If you don't put uh, oil on it, so if you were going dry, what I've seen people that are stubborn and don't like to put oil on, then it gets dry here and it melts through. And I saw one guy, there's a slider here and there, he just actually on an XR600 Honda, he carved through his uh, swing arm oh. with aluminum. Oh. And just wore through and he didn't see it because it was made a groove and he came in right there and he compromised the structure of, of the swing arm. So that's another point by doing lubrication because it's sitting here on these two carriers, if you will, uh, plastic some kind. Okay, so between so these two bolts would I, be a good... I think that's a good place, okay. Okay. yeah. So if you hold it and you measure, so the lower point will be... Yeah, you can take to the highest point if you want. Okay. Start there. So, See, so basically, it goes. Okay, so if it's here. Yeah, if it's there. Yes. And you see, I'm it still doesn't. Within. It, yeah. It's not above. Yeah. Okay. So if it were like here, it would have. It's touching, touching there though, but I think that should be plenty good. Mm -hmm.